Hey guys, how's it going? Got all my gear here. I just wanted to share with you what I'm putting in my backpack, the order of it, and just to kind of get you prepped for this season. So, first of all, I hope you're doing well. I'm so stoked for this season. Um, I think it's going to be a really good one. I'm actually heading out um, in about, I don't know, 15 hours to go to Mount Washington to climb some early season ice. And what I'm putting in my backpack is um, some of the same things that you know I would want you to have in your backpack for a day of cragging or a day in the Alpine. Um, but then of course, a few extra things in my pack because of the gear that I carry. So here it is. So usually the, uh, the hardware is stuff that we're gonna put in the bottom of the pack because it's usually the last thing that we need to access. Typically is also the heaviest stuff. So let's do that now. We've got some hexes and nuts, specifically for the routes that I'm on this weekend. Bunch of screws in here, definitely kind of heavy. Okay, now this is getting a little bit more in your department. What are you going to carry when you're following ice climbs? Well, it's always a good idea to have that auto block loop with its own small locking carabiner for repelling. <laughs> always a good idea to have a repel device, belay device. This is one of those guide mode, okay, so that you can actually belay from an anchor instead of just belaying off your harness. Nice to have two lockers with that system. It'd also be a good idea for you to carry a double shoulder length sling, okay? For personal anchoring systems, for any type of anchoring system in general. And I'm always carrying a couple extra lockers with that. And then other than that, bunch of quick draws, mountain slings, extendables for, you know, leading and following routes. So that's gonna go in the backpack. V-threader, super important. Okay, so we got that. Let's think about some things that we kind of need but not right off the bat when we're arriving at uh, the climbing venue, okay? So perhaps these mitts can go on the bottom. Big mitts to keep your hands super warm. Okay. I kind of have a like a heftier pair of uh, climbing gloves and a more like like lighter pair of climbing gloves. But we're gonna put these middle ones in the bottom of the pack. Since I'm going to Washington, I've got a face mask and goggles. Okay, face mask is a three quarter, goes right here, and the goggles fit that contour perfectly. Nice setup. Typically when we're cragging, we don't need those, but for Mount Washington, Katahdin, and other high alpine places, it's a must. All right, what else do we have here? Things that we're gonna need right off the bat when we arrive, okay? We're gonna need to put on a harness, helmet, and crampons, okay? You remember the order in which we do this? Pretty much a good idea to always put the helmet on first. However, I don't want that in my backpack. You typically put the harness on first and then the crampons, right? So let's put these crampons at the bottom. They're also like pretty heavy. Get that right up against the back side there. Cool. Now we can put the harness in. Fold it up nice and neat. You know, this way in which I'm packing my backpack is almost the same all the time. I always know where things are. Almost 
to a T, everything's right where I need it, when I want it. Being efficient in the mountains means your systems are down too. All right, so some other things that we're gonna want. Definitely something that's like more accessible. A thermos for your hot beverage, right at the top. You might even want that on the walk-in, okay? Sunglasses, headlamp for early morning approaches or evening descents. Some chapstick, a knife. I usually take a little bit of sunblock too. All those things right in the brain so they're easy to find. And let's look at clothing. It's unlikely that I wear my big parka uh, on the approach, but every now and again I do. Regardless, it's nice to have that thing super accessible. So I usually put that right at the top. You can use the softness of this jacket to fill any of the extra holes, you know, these open areas within the backpack. You save room and it's gonna feel better on your back anyways. All right, so there's the general backpack. Let's look at clothing. I always wear like kind of a medium weight sock that goes up to my shins. One of my favorite pieces is this Patagonia onesie. Legs integrated right up into the upper body with a hood. Okay. My next layer is this sort of light to medium weight Patagonia jacket, Prima Loft inside. I got these bib pants from Mammut. And then I've got my shell, which is sort of a mixed shell. That's typically when I'm walking to the Kragen, along with my boots. Especially early season, and almost always good to have any time of the, the winter, the micro spikes. The gloves. I like to actually wear my knee gloves early on in that day, like as we're approaching, because I can do all the things with my boots and my crampons with these things on, which means that I keep my fingers warm in these gloves as we're approaching and as we get start climbing. So that's what I would be wearing to the crag. Now let's finish this up. Boom, helmet right on top. Remember that nice soft parka feel? Well, the helmet sits perfectly right on top of that. Good. And then we can close this up. Tighten it right down. I can't even believe I'm getting another season out of this backpack. <laughs> I think it's gonna be its last. All right, let's finish the job by putting the axes on. Don't forget that the pick of the axe, we don't want that sticking outward because as you walk, you can get your jacket caught on it and tear it. Learned that the hard way years ago. So make sure the pick Facing the middle line of the pack. Yeah, pretty much ready to go. It's one thing I left out of this a repair kit, and food. So as far as a repair kit goes, it's basically, you know, the hardware on your tools and your crampons. And sometimes it's a wrench, 
Um, there's a few other things that you can have. Just make sure that you look at your hardware on your tools and you just have that with you. In a pinch, a, um, a micro tool or some sort of, um, gosh, what are they even called? Anyways, those micro tools work really well too. Um, another little side note about, uh, about the tools, make sure that your crampons fit your boots. Like actually make sure that they're good to go before you come out to go climbing. Just another one of those little efficiencies. And that excess piece of um, material that comes off of the, of the crampon, let's make sure it's not like out this far. You wanna have it anywhere in that like six to eight inch range where once you put it through the buckle and you have just enough to pull it tight, but it's not so much that's gonna like hang out and get caught up on the other foot's crampons. And then as far as food goes, um, you know me, I'm a whole food athlete. I always wanna be consuming like the highest quality whole foods. If I'm eating bars all season, if I'm like finding stuff at the last minute, I'm, I'm just not gonna have the energy that I need. So one of my sort of food hacks is I make dinner the night before, put it in a Tupperware container and bring it with me. So I'm just eating, you know, higher quality food. Um, if you want to learn a little bit more about food and like what I do, I'm happy to talk with you one-on-one -on -one about that. So let me know if uh, there's any other questions as far as equipment goes and getting prepped for the season and I look forward to seeing you out there.